Hello everyone, uh, my name is Carl and welcome to my YouTube channel known as Galacha Productions and today I am here to tell you a plug-in review about this VST that I recently downloaded from Valhalla called as the Valhalla Super Massive. Now as you can see I am now starting to record in a OBS uh, studio which I believe this is one of the best free recording programs in the uh, internet as of now. But I'll get to that uh, later on on the next video uh, regarding about uh, this OBS Studio program. And I do encourage everyone to use it since it's free. Okay, so let's begin with the review. Now, as I see uh, here, uh, I pulled up my FL Studio 12, which I'm still using this current version, by the way. I know. Um, I, sh I should have used the FL Studio 20.7, but in this case, I'd rather stick to the old-fashioned uh, version since it's still considered my favorite. Uh, not only that, I mean, I still like the traditional um, features that FL Studio had before they start updating to the latest version, which is 20.7. But in either case... Um, Let's move on to the review. Now, uh, the, the big reason why I kind of like this uh, Valhalla Super Massive uh, VST, which I'm going to pull up right now, is uh, I just pull up my Mixer channel and I'm going to pull up my um, effects here. As you can see, my screen is like pretty much whatever uh, VST plugins that I just uh, recently installed. So let's go ahead and pull up the Super Massive. And this is what it looks like right here. So you got yourself the um, the mix knob here on the left, and then the width that controls the stereo width space, and then you got the delay knob, which actually controls the amount of delay or effects that you wanted to have the song uh, stretch out. But then you have the warp knob, which actually adjusts the uh, the length of the delay uh, signals that come within um, either patch or sample or and so on. And then here on the bottom, you can actually uh, change the dial of your uh, delay and how you want to put it out. So right now it's on milliseconds by default, but you actually can change it by either play by note or dotted or triplet, which I'll get to that in a minute. Now for now, we'll stick with milliseconds as for this example. Then you got the feedback, which controls how much you want the uh, delay to output uh, from that uh, sample. And as well as the density controls like how much uh, you want it to uh, create that um, you know amount of echoing uh, within the delay so right now as it says in the bottom here uh, when it says zero percent it actually creates like discrete echoes but then up to all the way up to max up to 100 percent that actually turns uh, quickly into a reverb which is kind of nice and then uh, here uh, you got the mod rate and then the depth and then you got the equalization of either turning the high and the low ends of your uh, echoing or delay reverb mix. Now here's my opinion. The Super Massive is kind of similar to like uh, Valhalla Shimmer which uh, used to be uh, this one right here. But right now I just downloaded their demo version which we don't really have to use in the first place so this is what it looks like here. But with the Super Massive okay this is somehow kind of like a great approach because this will give like uh, producers or beginners an idea of how they want to uh, change up their samples with using uh, subtle reverbs or delays or echoes within their mixes now uh, what I'm about to show you is a great example why I do encourage uh, everyone to use the Supermassive VST plugin, okay, as a great effect for their sample mixes. So let's go ahead and mute this out for a bit. And also I'm gonna get rid of the shimmer because I don't really need this. This is only a demo, um, you know, demonstration version anyway. But uh, on the other hand, here's what I wanted to uh, point out. Now, over here on my left, I have pulled out a sample bank list of, um, Cymatix uh, Oracle sample pack, as you probably pretty much uh, visit uh, Cymatix website, which is cymatix.fm, and you see this on their uh, SoundBank page. 
like this is what they'll come out as they uh, present it as a free sample pack to download, which is still free by the way, if you want to have a chance to uh, download it uh, at no cost. Now here we have pulled up most of the samples as you can see that um, in Oracle, uh, Simon is organized as a classical uh, category and then bounced to download dark melody and then happy melody and then nostalgic, lo-fi, and then my favorite, the um, the sad melodies, the RP R and B melodies, reverse, and the various and West Coast and so on. Now, um, here's my opinion: the Oracle samples, each of those tracks were designed for trap music or hip hop in general. And basically, when you play a, a standard sample like this. Pretty much gives like a hip hop vibe, and then so on, like this one with dark melody here. And then let's go to uh, another one. And then, uh, as you pretty much know, you pretty much get the example of. Now, let me show you why this program is so great, and I've been having so much fun with this uh, Super Mouse program uh, for pretty much for a few days when it came out and let me tell you again um, this is a free plugin that you can download directly at Valhalla's website at uh, ValhallaDSP.com which I will post it on the bottom of my um, info page at for this YouTube video okay so don't forget that after the end of the video now let's go ahead and pull up a sample excuse me for example yeah, like this one right so this is like pretty much F minor it's pretty much a jolly old type um, R&B beat and uh, before I do that let me go ahead and change the tempo a bit uh, since uh, it is like designed for 86 uh, BPM sample into like whatever kind of uh, sample effect that you want and it turns out that you can actually turn this trap beat into a synth wave melody okay once you play around with it let's try another one or let's try this one again okay same thing I'll turn up the uh, a bit to match it up, remove this sample, and then drag this in here. 
okay and then um, I make sure that everything is turned to default again so let's try it with this one and see how this plays out <laughs> I just kind of left it at one eight just to show as a demonstration, but um, just to um, give an idea, like this is like a great way to create like superb soundtracks for most of your uh, movies or films or games and so on, and the possibilities are endless. But um, let's give another example uh, just to uh, try out, and then after that last video, I'm just gonna go. I'll uh, show you the other examples of the presets that uh, that plays out uh, by using uh, one final sample. So let me go to another one, which is one of my favorites here, the sad melody loop. So when you play this on a dry uh, example, like that's designed for trap. And then second, Let's just try this one. Uh, let's 
move this and then go to 23rd BPM. Drag this one here and then make sure I turn this up to one. Now, uh, this kind of beat kind of like feels for me like a Drake type beat, okay? And normally what you can do is uh, you, you pretty much put like, like trap drums and uh, 808 uh, basses and so on. Excuse me again, but when you turn the Civil Massive on, it, to it totally turns to a different kind of genre, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and listen to this track first. As you can see, this is totally uh, familiar with uh, the Hella Shimmer, and it's still a great way to use this plugin uh, to change the output of your reverb effects or echo or delay into one single VST plugin unit. So, with that said, I'm going to leave off with the final sample. And I'm just gonna play around with the presets, and then you can leave your comments below of what you think about this uh, the Hello Supermassive uh, VST plugin uh, effects uh, plugin, uh, and you can give your uh, opinions about that. So again, you can uh, follow uh, Gelatrop at my uh, SoundCloud page.
okay which also still gotta be listing in my info page below you can also follow me at uh, Facebook which is Galacha 303 and Twitter and Instagram also at Galatra 303 okay and you can also visit my webpage as well, which also will be listed in my info page. And so uh, today I'm going to leave you at this one final sample, which I kind of felt it was my favorite. So before I get to that, let me go ahead and put it back to default. And then I'll select my uh, final uh, sample wave. Okay, dry first.
Okay, so if you like the video, uh, please give a like and share and don't for, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is Galatra signing off. Okay, and you have a great day. You take care. Bye-bye.